We now come to our App Bonanza segment. And by the way, if you do have an app that you would like to have us demo, please then do so. Again, if you have an app that you would like us to review or demo, then let us know about that app. Or if you would rather record it, then go ahead and record it and send it to us for review. And you send it to us using that email address that Austin gave a little while ago, which is contact us at blindandroidusers.com. So the first app we want to demo is going to be coming from Austin. And that's the Y on W-I-O-N. Austin, take it away. For App Bonanza episode 93, this is the demo of the app Vion, W-I-O-N. This is a news app. It shows international news, Indian news. Its main focus is Indian news, but it, fo- it also shows uh, international news. It's like a 50-50 news app. It's an independent news app from what I have seen. I have never seen it taking sides of any government or any political party or any any company or any of that thing. So it's an independent news app and it's available on YouTube, on Twitter, social media. It also has its own website, wion.com. But we are today focusing on the app Vion. So let me open the app and show you what's there inside the app. Vion has two notifications. It says it has two notifications. I'll open it. Vion. Unlabeled. Out of grid. Labels available. Use tab with them. Vion. Unlabeled. And on top. Trending. Exclusive stories. Mark the exclusives to live TV. Unlabel. Live. T- unlabel. Button. On top, there is an unlabel button. Let me just Leon. click on it. Unlabel. Menu and settings. Unlabel. But you are not signed in. So Log that in is to like exclusive the, stories. Um, it's like the navigation draw. So it has a place for logging in and all those settings and everything. They should label that. And I'm going to uh, contact them and tell them that there is uh, an unlabeled button on the app. So back, unlabeled button. Just under that button, there is live TV. Live TV. So live TV is where you can see uh, and hear live news being read aloud. Selected. We'll uh, take a look at that uh, later. Then under that, there is home. Latest. Latest. Russia-Ukraine crisis. There is Russia-Ukraine crisis. So there are different categories and it has relevant stories that you can select and read. Gravitas. Gravitas is its uh, programming. It's one of its program. Exclusive stories. Sports. South Asia. World, entertainment, photos. So these are different categories. Opinions and blogs, videos, business and economy, Indian news. R. Kelly, R. Kelly convicted of child pornography and sexual abuse of minors. So here starts the news. This is general news, but this also comes as latest news. Trending. Apple. Apple's in app purchases rise by 40% due to its recent privacy updates. It list. UFO, Kiev Astronomical Observatory claims UFOs hovering over Ukrainian skies. British royal family can't bear this bloody thing. King Charles frustrated by leaky pen. Watch. Cancer, aspirin found to boost survival rate in cancer patients in new study. Wow, that's a good thing. That's uh, really... Uh... Nice news that I've read today. Employee, a company that gives 10% pay hike to its employees to leave. Here's why. Wow. I leave that company in a flash. Uber, Uber pays $100 million in back taxes to New Jersey for misclassifying drivers. 
Queen Elizabeth II death. Queen Elizabeth II's final flight is the most tracked in history. And so on and so forth, the news goes. So now let us go to the live TV section. And I'm just going to play a little bit of it because we don't want to get uh, a copyright strike on our channel. So let me just scroll with two fingers down. Mark Kelly, Mark Page. India News. Video, photo, entertainment. Latest, select, live TV. We on, show player controls. And it'll take little time to play because I'm on a, a mo mobile uh, data. Show player controls. As the first half went on, chances went begging for Leipzig, who were looking for the first win of the campaign. The best opportunity of the first half fell to Real's Antonio Rudiger, but he steered his header wide. More videos. Show player control. Pretty much remained the same in the second half. Until midfielder Federico Valverde. Show. Broke the deadlock. More videos. Show player. Pause. And as play. So button. that is the live uh, TV. Let us go and see what the settings hold. Back. We on. We on picture and pic Unlabeled button. We on. We on picture and picture. Menu and set. Unlabeled. Menu and settings. Unlabeled. You are not. Log in. Sign up. My sections. Enlist. This is my sections. This is in the navigation draw when you go to that unlabeled button. Edit. You can edit your section so you, it will only show you the stories that you want to read. Russia Ukraine crisis. Gravitas. Exclusive story. Sports. South A world enter code opinion video business Indian person notification text size notific personalize and Double here you can personalize the app. Let's see what personalize has notification. You can either allow or grant notification text size. You can reduce text size, increase text size, unlabeled button, and then again there is an unlabeled button. Unlabeled button. So there are unlabeled buttons, and I'm going to contact them and give them feedback um, regarding that. Unlabeled button. Three unlabeled buttons. My favorite. So my favorite again is something related to the news that I want to read. Support. You can get support, which I'm going to do now. Share this app. And you can share this app. The link of this app, if you want this app, is in the show notes. Uh, I would say 99% of the app is accessible. Only in the navigation draw, there are three unlabeled buttons. Rate this app. Feedback. Login. App information. Contact US. Terms of use. Privacy policy. 3.5.3. That is the version. Version. We are out of list. Detected. Text. So this is the demo of the Vion app. I hope you like the app. I hope you like the news. I've, I've really uh, started liking this news uh, of this app. We are not sponsored by this app or any of its channels. But this is the truth. Um, BBC and Beyond are the two that I like because I've seen both the news uh, publishers don't take sides of any political parties, any governments, any corporates or something. So that is how. Right side, four evil civilizations I like this app. right now. Thank you so much for that app demonstration, Austin. It's a great app, gives you all the news, especially 
uh, with a lot of focus there in India, but it gives you some news also around the world. So if you're into reading news and things like that, you want to try Why On? You can also you can also listen to the news because there is live TV and live news broadcast from the channel Why On. So you can even visit them on YouTube and even go to their website. I'll be having the links of their social media on our, so, on our show notes. Although we don't have anything sponsored by them, this is just for information. Great. And I think with us giving them such a plug, they should give us a little sponsorship. Just kidding. Anyway, so up next, we have the smart audio book player from John. And a lot of people like the smart audio book player. It's a great app. And if you haven't had it or haven't had any experience with it, I think according to John's demo, it actually gives you like 30 days of a free, uh, no ads. I don't know that it has uh, ads naturally or not, but at least you have 30 days uh, that you can use without needing to pay for it. And it's very minimal. I think it's maybe like $3, $2, something somewhere in there. So Smart Audiobook Player is one of those great apps, especially if you're on Android and you're into audiobooks. That's a good one to have. And thank you, John. And here's John with Smart Audiobook Player. Hi, John here. And this is going to be a demonstration of the app Smart Audiobook Player. So I'm on the Play Store listing now. Smart Audiobook Player, Alex Software, in app purchases. So as you can see, the developer is Alex Software, and you can get this from the Play Store. And it has in app purchases. I'm going to download Install it. Install button. So this is free to use for 30 days. And after that, if you want all the features, I think it's a one-time purchase of $2, which in my opinion is um, definitely worth it. But if not, you can still use the app, you just won't have all the features. And I don't believe there's any ads, even with the free version. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Smart audiobook player, add root folder. The root folder is the folder where you keep all your books. Every book must be in a separate subfolder, even if it consists of only one file. Recommended folder hierarchy. Audiobooks author name, book title slash asterisk dot mp3. So as you can see, it's a pop-up asking me to specify where my audiobooks are stored on the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and select the folder. Okay, button. Library. Audiobooks. New folder. Audiobooks. Okay, so it's already selected on the audiobook folder for me, so I'm just going to near the bottom. Use this folder button. Use this folder. So you'll navigate to wherever you have your audiobook stored on your phone. Select that folder and then allow Smart Audiobook Player to access files in audiobooks. This will let Smart Audiobook Player access current and future content stored in audiobooks. So I'm giving it permission to always access this specific folder on my device. Cancel button. Allow button. Audiobooks. Use this folder. Full scan. 0% detected. Text progress bar. So it's scanning right now to see what books it can find. All. Library. Folder view button. Okay. So now it's on my library. I'm just going to give you an overview starting from the top left. Selected. All. Tab. Library. Okay, so where it says library at the top left, I'm just going to swipe right. Folder view button. There's a folder view button. This lets you change how your books are displayed, whether you want them to just all be here in a list, or if you want them to be organized in folders the same way that they actually are on your device or if you want um, folders to be groups all on the same page. So there's a few different options you could choose from here. Full scan. This full scan button 
is basically a refresh button. So if you've just added more files to the folder and they're not showing up here, you'd press this button. More options button. And there's the more options button. Selected all tab. And then the next row is just how you what you want to show. Right now all is selected. New tab. You can have it show only the new books that have been added. Started tab. Books you've started. Finished tab. And books you've finished. O2 lockdown finished tab. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to started, the new select more options button. More options button, just to see what's in here. Pop up window. Settings. Playback statistics. Help. So there's settings, playback, statistics, and help. I'm gonna playback go into settings. 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 Navigate up button. Now important thing to keep in mind is this is just the settings for the um, library page. There's separate settings for playback of your book once you've started the playback. So I'm just going to go through these really quick. Settings. Remove root folder button. Add root folder button. Obviously, those buttons will let you add or remove folders. Root folder. Primary audiobooks. Hide books from other apps. Hide books from other media players and photo galleries by creating a no media file in the root folder. So this option will let you hide items in your audiobooks folder from other apps. So, for example, if you don't want Google Photos popping up a notification asking you if you want to back up your photos when it finds the cover art in this folder, then this option should prevent that from happening. It'll also keep your audiobooks out of your music player apps just to keep things separate. Search button. Search helps you find the book in a large library. Not checked. Checkbox. Sort button. Books can be sorted by path, title, recently played, length and date added. Not checked. Checkbox. Folder view button. Folder view makes it easier to find books in the complex hierarchy of folders. Checked. Checkbox. So these are basically whether you want these buttons to appear on the folder screen or not. Book queue button. The book queue determines which book will be played next. Not checked. Checkbox. Playback statistics. Playback statistics allow you to see all the books you've read, even if you deleted the book folders. Playback statistics are stored in the Smart Audiobook Player Statistics folder and never sent anywhere. Checked. Checkbox. Okay, so that's all the settings for here, so I'm going to back out. Library. More options. Button. Now I'm going to go play a book. Let's see. I have probably about 20 books here, but obviously it will. You can have as many as will fit on your phone. Winterkeep, 5 meters, 16H, 31M, 1%. Smart audiobook player. Started books, button. So, now I'm on the audiobook screen. I'm just going to swipe through so you can see what items are here. Turn sleep timer on. Sleep timer. Show ID 3 titles. Show ID 3 titles. What this will do is that this will toggle between whether the title on your book and chapters are gotten from the file names or from the identifying data or metadata within the file. Cast. Disconnected. Cast is if you want to play it on a different speaker. Boost volume. Self-explanatory. Equalizer. Also self-explanatory. Playback speed. Playback speed. Now this is one of the features that is for the pro version and it's definitely worth the two dollars for me because i cannot listen to any audiobook at normal speed i have to speed it up at least a little bit character list button this is if you want to keep track of characters bookmarks button bookmarks if you want to mark uh, a spot it'll save it lock buttons this is if you want to lock buttons i guess just to not have them accidentally pressed menu Button. Now this is a menu. There's probably going to be settings in here. Let's see. Pop up window. Library. More. Yeah, so. Library. That's how you would get back to your library. The previous page we were on. More. Let's see what's in more. Pop up window. More. Heading. History. Select file. Delete files. Select cover. Search cover on the internet. 
So we probably don't care about covers, but if you do, there's a couple options you can get to here. Smart audio book player. Menu. Button. Pop-up window. Library. More. Settings. This is also where you would get to settings. So um, these settings, I'm not going to go through them because there's a lot. Well, I'll go through the categories. Settings. Navigate up. Button. Again, this is different from the settings we were in before because that was found on the library page. And this is on the playback page. Settings. Playback. So there's a playback category. Sleep timer. Sleep timer. Full version settings. Troubleshooting. Advanced. So that's all of the different setting categories. Like I said, I won't go through them all. There's a lot of settings in here. Smart audio book player. Menu. Button. Winter keep. So that's the title of the book. 1% progress bar. That's how far I am through the book. Read 505 of 16 hours, 31 minutes and 11 seconds. 1% left 13 hours, 8 minutes and 52 seconds. That's the progress. Winterkeep dash part 01.mp3. That's the chapter. 7% slider. This is how far I am through the chapter. And of course, this will work with talkback gestures. 12% slider. If, if you want to change it from here. But there's also regular playback controls down below. 12%. Progress 845. Minus 51. 40. Previous file. So previous file, that means chapter. Player pause. Player pause, obviously. Next file. Rewind 1 meter. Rewind 1 minute. Rewind 10s. 10 seconds. Fast forward 10s. Fast forward 10 seconds. Fast forward 1 meter. And fast forward 1 minute. So I'm just going to go ahead and play it. Play or pause. Brutus who lived here had tiny bright sharp minds full of silly words. Keeper. Friend. Hero. And Keeper. Music. Of course. Laughter. It will also work with the talkback gesture to um, double tap with two fingers to pause and play, which is what I just did. And I'm going to go show you an example of some tips. So next file i'm gonna hit next file as a next chapter long press select file don't show tips button now long press select file it says if you want to long press this it'll select the file which means it'll bring you to the list of all the chapters don't show tips button okay button you can choose not to show tips or choose okay now it won't show this specific tip anymore because this was the first time. Smart audio book player. Next file. So if I long press on next file. Select file. Winterkeep dash part zero one dot. It'll give me a list of the chapters. And I can just go directly to the chapter. I'm gonna back out of this. Smart audio book player. Next file. Now character list button. I'm gonna go back up near the top. Playback speed. Go to playback speed because I always speed mine up. Playback speed. Long press. Set default playback speed. It's letting me know. This is another tip letting me know. If I long press it, it'll um, set the default playback speed. So don't show t OK button. I'm going to hit OK. Smart audio book player. Playback speed. Playback speed. 1.25x. 1.25x. This is what I like mine to be at. So I'm going to. 1.2. OK button. Hit OK. Smart audio book player. Playback speed. And now if I want this to always be the speed, no matter what book is playing, then that's when I'll long press it. The default playback speed is set. Smart audio book player. Okay, so um, that's a basic overview of the app. I'm also going to show you uh, the widget. One UI home. Weather and clock. Double tap. So I'm going to put this in focus. Detected. Text. Foul. Okay, so that is actually the folder that's showing on the widget of the book I'm currently playing. If I swipe right. Play or pause. Play or pause. Rewind 1 meter. Rewind 10s. Fast forward 10s. Fast forward 1 meter. So these are the controls that you can have on your widget. Fast forward. Rewind. Rewind. Play or pause place where clumps of moss gathered against so, the base of coral mountains. As you can see, 
Usually I only listen to one book at a time, so it's nice having the widget because you don't actually have to go back into the app. You can just find the widget and hit the play button and it'll pick up where you left off in that book. Now, obviously, if you want to change the book, you would just go into the app and go to the library and start a new book or pick up from where you left off in a different book. So this concludes the demonstration of Smart Audiobook Player. It's an app that I really like, and I use it all the time. I've used it for years, and it's very accessible. So I highly recommend it. Thank you, John. That was a good demonstration. And again, the URL and all of that will be in the show notes. And now I bring you an app called Yucca, Y-U-K-A or Yucca. And if you're into foods, you want to know what all that food contains and all of that, uh, Yucca or Yucca is your app. And now here is the demonstration of Yucca slash Yucca. This is Warren Carr, and this is demonstrating Yucca or Yucca, Y-U-K-A. This is an app that you could scan your food and find out the ingredients of that food. I am on my home screen and I'll quickly navigate to the app. This is coming to us courtesy of a French developer. Let's now go ahead and demonstrate Yuka or Yaka. And today I'll be demonstrating this app using my Pixel 6 Pro with Android 13 QPR1 Beta 1. And for speech services, I am utilizing the Google speech services. I am on the home screen and I'm navigating my way now to Yaka or Yuka and we'll get started from here. I am starting afresh, so we're starting it together. Yuka. Here is Yaka or Yuka and I'll tap here to get started. Yuka, welcome. Allow Yuka to send you notifications. On top, Yuka on bottom. And we have the typical Android 13 saying, allow Yuka or Yaka to send us notification. And so it's up to you. You could say no or allow or don't allow. Allow button. There's the allow. Don't allow button. And I'm going to tap on don't allow. Yuka, welcome. We're on our first page now, and it says, Welcome. I'm going to put my finger down. Yuka is a completely independent app that helps you choose the right products. Moving my finger down. Slide to continue. And there's a text there that says, Slide to continue, which means uh, it's probable that there's no next button. I move my finger down. Onboarding pager icon image, image. And so now I'll simply swipe from right to left with two fingers to advance to the next page. Product analysis. I am on page two and it says product analysis. I'll put my finger down in the middle. Yuka scans products and assesses their health benefits. Moving my finger down. Onboarding pager icon image, image. So I still have that same message we saw on page one. I'll now swipe with two fingers again from right to left. Recommendations. We are on a page now that says recommendation. Putting my finger down. Yuka recommends healthier alternatives. And now I'll move my finger down. Let's go button. There is the let's go, that means this is the last page. I'll tab here at the bottom where it says let's go. Yuka, sign in with Facebook button. Upon opening it or upon completing that little tutorial or little informational stuff, we are told sign in with Facebook. If I move my finger down. Sign in with email button. Sign in with email, I move my finger down. And there's nothing there. So, from what I'm seeing, you could either sign in with Facebook or sign in with email. And since I do not use Facebook, I will therefore sign in with email, and I haven't created an account yet. So, I'll go ahead and tap on sign in with email. Sign in with email button. Tap here. 
Smart Lock Credential Picker. Choose an account. Upon tapping on that, it wants me to choose an account. In other words, my device sees my different email addresses, which means I could choose any of these to use it with Yaka or Yuka. So I'm going to pick the one that I use. Warren Carr, enlist. And I'll tap there. Sign in. Password, new password, edit box. Sign up. Suggestions available. To access, swipe right. Showing items one now, to Now I'm two. being told to sign in and you know, it's a new sign up. I could create a password. I'll put my finger now near the top so we we'll go from here. Warcare at gmail.com, edit box, email. That's my email address there. Move down. Warren Carr, edit box, first name. And it already has my name in there. Password, new password, edit box. And it says password. So I'm going to tap here to create a password. So I'm going to mute this for a second. And I'll be right back because I don't want you signing into my Yaka or Yuka. <laughs> so I'll be right back after I input my password or have inputted my chosen password. I'll be right back. All right, I just finished typing in my chosen password. Password, 10 characters, edit box. 10 characters, to the right of that, of course, we have the show password. Show password, button, not checked. And below that show password is a save button. Save button. I'll tap here to save my password. Keyboard hidden. Save for autofill. Save password to Google. And it wants to save it for autofill. I'm going to tap on save at the bottom. Save button. Yuka. History tab selected. One of three. Enlist three items. Now I'm in the menu eye of the app and we're told that there are some tabs at the top and the one that we landed on is the history tab. And these are near the top. So if I move my finger to the right. Recommendations tab two of three. We have the recommendations and then to the right of that we've got. Overview tab three of three. And overview. And now to the right of overview we have some buttons. And the next button to the right will be. Filter, out of list. Filter. To the right of that, we've got... Settings. Settings. And those are all the buttons that we find near the top. I am now moving my finger down toward the middle of the phone. Scan a barcode to get started. And I find some text string that says scan a barcode to get started. And I move my finger down. And to the right of that, at the bottom right, we've got... Scan a product button. Scan a product. Before though we scan a product, let's go through some of these items that we saw up here uh, to see what they do. So for example, you know, these tabs explain what they are, like overview, uh, recommendations, that is the foods that they recommend for you, and then also the uh, history tab, meaning the stuff that I've scanned, I could go in there and look at the history. But therefore, let's go now and look at both the uh, filter and the settings and see what we find. I will now tap on filters. Filter. Here's filter. I tap. Become a premium member to gain access to the search feature. Close button. So from the looks of it or the sounds of it, the filters would be possible if one is a paying member. And therefore, we heard that dialogue that says become a premium member to unlock some of these features, especially like the search and all of that. Close button. And we have a close button there. I'll close it for now and we'll come back to it if we need it to. Yuga filter. Let's now tab on settings, which is the last button there on the top right. Settings. Here is settings and I tab here to activate. Pop-up window. Favorites in list. Tapping on settings, the first item that pops up says favorites. Moving my finger down, I got account. Account, of course, that explains what it is. Going there and manage my account. Moving my finger down. Report a problem. Report a problem. Moving my finger down. Premium member. Premium member. Let's tap here and see what happens when I tap on it. Yuka. Offline mode. Scan your items even when. Your phone has no signal. One of three. Enlist. Three items. 
So these are some of the benefits of becoming a premium member. You can scan items even when your phone is offline. And the second item. Search. Search any product by its name without having to scan it. Two of three. So in other words, you could simply type in the name of the food that you want to have it look up and it will tell you all that info. Moving my finger down. Food preferences. Detect the presence of palm oil, gluten, lactose, etc. Three of three. And that's another one. So if you're someone who is on a diet or if you have some health uh, problems regarding foods and foods that you're allergic to and things of that nature, I could see the usefulness of this app as it will tell you all that is contained in that particular food. I'll move my finger down. Image unlabeled out of list. It says Detected. image Text unlabeled. Ahead. I move my finger down. Become a member. Support Yuka. Move my finger down again. Pay what you want. It says I could pay what I want. I hope so. No commitment. All right, keep going. Your participation helps the project to grow. All right. $15. And the first suggestion we see here is $15. Per year. Per year and... Slider 1.0. And there's a slider there that says 1.0. I kind of wonder if I slide it up, see what it will be. Maybe I'll sli slide it up to 100, see what that says. Slider 2.0. Slide up. 100%. 100%. $20 out of list per year. Moving the slider up to 100% makes it cost you $20 a year. Now I'm going to move that slider down to 0% and see what the suggested donation or Payment is. Slider 1.0. Slide it down. The 1.0 was $15. Slider 0.0. I slid it down to 0% and now put my finger down and see what that adjusts the price to. $10. It adjusted to $10. Now at the very bottom we got Become a member button. Become a member. Now, I'm going to go back. Yuga. Settings. I am now back in the menu eye and we heard it say settings, which is the button found near the top right. I will now go ahead toward the bottom where we saw that scan button. I got a yogurt here. I got a little tub of yogurt here that I'm going to scan. So I'm going to put my finger down and tap on that scan. Scan a product button. Scan a product. I tap here. Permission request on top. Yuka on bottom. Allow Yuka to take pictures and record video. Allow Yuka to take pictures and record video. And I'm going to tell it while using the app. While using the app button. I'll tap. Yuka. Now I'm going to grab my yogurt. And I'm moving it around. All right. I felt a little vibration that was not audible to you. I'm going to put my finger down. Product photo button. And there's a product photo. I'm going to scroll up a little bit, see what I find. Whole milk plain yogurt. It says whole milk plain yogurt. And I move my finger down or you could swipe from left to right if you're a swiper. Nancy's. Nancy's. And it's a product that I like, yogurt that I really like here. It's called Nancy's. And I keep moving my finger down. 78 one hundredths. Okay. Excellent. It says it's excellent. Positives. And the positives. Proportion 170 grams. Okay. Protein. Some protein. 9 grams. 1 of 5. Enlist. 5 items. Keep going. Calories. Low calories. 130 cal. 2 of 5. Keep going. Sugar. Low sugar. 8 grams. 3 of 5. Keep going. Sodium, low sodium, 100 milligrams, 4 of 5. Keep going. Saturated fat, low impact, 4 grams, 5 of 5. I keep moving. And moving my finger down, I find nothing. So there are no negatives here. Now at the top, we've got a couple buttons. On the left, we've got a button that simply says, Button, unlabeled. Unlabeled, and I wonder if this could be a favorite. I'm going to tap on it and see what it does. 
I tapped on that and what I noticed is that it turns on the flash. So that button on the top left is the flash if you're in a dark place and you need lighting. I'll tap here to turn it off. Now I'll move my finger to the right, top right, we got beep button, button. Aha, uh -huh, there's a beep button. So in order for you to hear when it comes across a product and if you want it to tell you what or to let you know that it has found a product, you turn on the beep. I'm going to turn this on. There we go, I feel the vibration. Now I wonder if I could still scan this or maybe I go grab something else and I'll be right back. I'll go grab something else other than this one. And Yuka, scan now it, that I on. have Ringer the silent. beep on, I need to have something else so we can compare. So I'll be right back. Let me go grab some other product. All right, now, so I grab something from the pantry and I'm going to tap on that scan a product. Scan a product button. Yuka, button, unlabel. I don't hear anything on that side. Move it to the side. Turn it around. It's a box. Nothing there. I'm going to scan the top. I don't hear anything. I'm going to go to the bottom. There we go. I heard a beep. The barcode was at the bottom. Now I'll put my finger down and see what product it is that I grabbed from that pantry. Product photo button. Product photo there on the bottom left toward the middle. Not all the way to the bottom, but maybe like three inches from the bottom. Move my finger to the right. Super moist cake mix. Aha. Uh -huh. Move my finger down. Betty Crocker. It says it's a Betty Crocker. Move my finger down. Zero one hundreds. Okay. Bad. It says it's bad. So Betty, if you're reading this or listening to this, this is bad. <laughs> Move my finger down. Too sweet. Two of four. Enlist. Four items. And these are the bads. The bad parts about it. One is too sweet. Next. Sodium. Too salty. 315 milligrams. Three of four. Ooh. Next. Calories. A bit too caloric. 160 cal. Four of four. And I'll move. I'll scroll down again. And put my finger down. Positives. And here are the positives. Proportion 43G. Move my finger down. Protein. Some protein. One gram. One of two. Enlist. Two items. And the last item under positives. Saturated fat. Low impact. One gram. Two of two. Move my finger down. Recommendations. Out of list. Now we have the recommendations. So if you have this and you want something else that is recommended, Underneath these are the recommended items. See all. We have see all or I could keep moving down. Product photo, cookie butter, partake, 54 one hundreds, good, one of 10, enlist, 10 items. So there are 10 items in there. Product photo, cookies and cram, 90 one hundreds, excellent, two of 10. Mm-hmm. Product photo, Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie Peanut Butter, 51 one hundreds, good, three of 10. One more. Showing Product photo, chocolate fudge cookies, two good gourmet, 63 one hundreds, good, four of ten. Showing items three to four of ten. Look at one more and then we'll curl it good. Product photo, keto cookies, Benton's, 69 one hundreds, good, five of ten. There Showing you items go. Showing four to six of ten. And that is a demonstration of yaka or yuka, Y-U-K-A. Now you know how to use it and if you have any dietary recommendations, I think this is going to come in very handy. And that's been the demonstration of Yaka or Yuka, Y-U-K-A. That is the app Yuka or Yaka. And for today's closing, we want to close up with John's demonstration of how to change the Bixby to use the Google Assistant instead. So if you have a Samsung device, and of course, by default, you are using the Bixby when you press your power button, but if you want to change that to use the Assistant instead, John has you covered, and here's John's demonstration on how to go about making that magic possible. Hello, John here. 
and this one is going to be for Samsung users. So you may have noticed that on your Samsung device, you are not able to change a long press of the side key from Bixby to Google Assistant. At least Samsung does not let you in the standard settings app. So I'm going to show you how to do this if that's something that you want to do. So the first thing you're going to want to make sure you have is the Google Assistant app. So I'm in the Play Store right now. Google Assistant. Google LLC. You want Google Assistant by Google LLC. Uninstall button. Now I already have it installed. So the other thing you're going to want to do is go to the Galaxy Store. One UI Home. Google Play Store Play Store. Galaxy Store. Open button. And I'm on the page for an app called Goodlock. It's one word, G-O-O-D-L-O-C-K. That's the app you're going to want. Good luck. Good luck labs. Good luck by Good Luck Labs. I have it installed, so I'm gonna open it. Open button. Good luck. Good luck. Detected. Text got. Now, once you're in the app, there's two tabs at the bottom. You're gonna to want to go to the one on the right. Un unlabel button. Life up tab. It's called Life Up. Life up. Selected. And from here, you're going to scroll basically all the way to the bottom. Look for something called Routines Plus. Routines Plus. Very unlabeled button. Once you find it, swipe right. There's an unlabeled button. That's the download button. Galaxy Store. Galaxy Store. Navigate up button. So this takes me to the Galaxy Store. And I can download from here. Install button. Navigate up button. So I hit the install button at the bottom of the screen. And now that Routines Plus is installed, I can go to the normal settings, which I usually get to from the notification panel. Notification shade. Open settings button. Settings. Search settings button. Then you're going to look for advanced settings. Apps. Default app. Battery and digital well-being and advanced features. Android Auto Labs. Big advanced features. Navigate up button. Once you're in advanced features, you're going to look for Bixby routines. Side key. One-handed mode. Bixby routines. Bixby routines. Search button. Once you're in Bixby routines, there's a tab at the bottom middle. Add routine tab. Called add routine. You're going to click that. Add routine. Add routine. If. So you're going to go to. Add condition. Add what will trigger this routine. Add a trigger. Conditions. Navigate up button. And you're going to go all the way to the bottom. And under. Selected alarm to submit routines plus. Unlock with fingerprint. Button action. Under routines plus heading, you're going to click button action. Button action. Choose a button or key and how. This will override any action. Not selected. Side radio button. So I found side key. I'm going to select that. Selected. And. Not selected. Volume down. Re interaction. Under interaction. Selected. Double press. Radio button. Not selected. Press and hold. Radio button. I'm going to select press and hold. Selected. Now at the bottom right. Done. Button. I'm going to hit done. Add routine. If. So that's our trigger. Under that, there's an action. Add action. Add what this routine will do. I'm going to add an action. Actions. Navigate up. Button. I look for apps on this page. Selected apps. And then um, double tap that. You're going to choose. Close an app. Open an app or do an app action. Open an app or do an app action. Open an app or do an app action. Search, edit box. So this is my list of apps. Type assistant. So I just used a talkback voice command to narrow my search. Open assistant. And there it is. Assistant. Under the assistant heading. Open assistant. I'm going to hit open assistant. Checked. You could scroll through the list of apps if you'd rather, but I just did that to make it shorter. Done. Button. Hit done at the bottom right. Add routine. Yes. And now again. Next. At the bottom right, hit next. 
Bixby routines. Routine name. Button action. Edit box. Now it's called button action. I'm going to rename it to Google Assistant. Button action. Copy and paste toolbar. Type Google Assistant. Google Assistant. Google Assistant. End of field. Keyboard hidden. Okay, so now at the bottom right. Done. Button. I'm going to hit done. Add routine. Google Assistant save. Bixby routines. Add routine. Tab. All right, so we're done. I'm going to go ahead and, well, first I'm going to mute talkback. Spoken feedback is off. And now I'm going to show you. I'm going to press and hold the side key. What's the weather? It's 84 and partly cloudy. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 85 and a low of 63. So now Google Assistant is mapped to the side key. And the best part about it is you didn't need to disable Bixby to do it. So if you want to get to Bixby, you still can by using the voice command. Hi, Bixby. What's the weather? In Chesapeake, it is partly cloudy and 84 degrees right now. So that is a demonstration of how to set up Google Assistant on your side key on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Thank you so much, John, for that demonstration. And you folks now know how to change your Bixby to use the Assistant instead of using the Bixby.